Printing project information. You can print any information that you have in your project. This includes the various views. In this lesson, we're going to do a quick run through of how to print in project. You'll find some of it is very similar to the last lesson, but that's okay. It is important that you aren't left with any questions. Before you print, choose exactly what you want to print. The best way to do this is to go to the view menu and select what view that you want. We're going to select the Gantt chart view. Once you have the view that you want on your screen, go to the File tab and then click on Print. Select how many copies you want to print. Select the printer that you want to use. You can click Printer Properties to select the quality of print and other options. Select the settings that you want, including orientation and paper size. Let's click Page Setup. It's the blue link that's shown here. This is what the Page Setup dialog box looks like. The first tab that you'll see in this dialog box is Page. It is shown by default. In the first section of the page tab is orientation. Portrait means that the short edge of the paper is at the top, whereas landscape means the long edge of the paper is at the top. Next is scaling. Select either adjust to or fit to settings. Adjust to is based on the percentage of the actual size, and the fit to allows you to control the scaling. In the other section, you get to select the paper size and the first page number. Now let's click over to the margins tab. Here is where you can adjust your margins. The preview in the center shows you how your margins will appear on the page. Use the arrows to set the top, bottom, right, and then left margins. In the borders around section, you can select if you want the margins to appear as borders around your page. Next, let's click over to the header tab. The preview section shows you a preview of your headers as they appear now. The alignment section allows you to align your headers. As you can see, there are tabs for left, center, and right. You can use the buttons below the alignment section to further format your text. Now let's click on the footer tab. The footer tab offers you the same options except they are for your footers, which is at the bottom of the page. The legend tab allows you to add a legend to whatever you're printing. The options for the legend are pretty self-explanatory. However, it is important to note that the project creates a legend for you. All you have to do is add text. Let's click on the view tab. This area allows you to select if you want to print all columns, how many columns per page, print notes, and print blank pages. You can also choose to print column totals. This pertains to the usage views. When you have your page set up, click OK to save your options. When you go to File Print, the Print Preview is on the right side of the window. From this screen, you can return to the page setup, print, or close it and go back to working on your project. You can also use the arrows to move around the report. If you have more than one page, you can move around the port at the bottom right here, otherwise they'll be disabled. You can zoom in to get a closer view. The magnifying glass automatically appears when you mouse over it. Just click to zoom in. You can look at a single page or multiple pages by clicking the appropriate button. When you have adjusted all your print settings and ready to print, set the number of copies you want to print and then click on the print button.